yes good morning to all yesterday we discussed about that um, what is a solar cell and uh, what is a solar panel what are the um, uses of solar cells how does it uh, works these are the topic yesterday which we cleared about that um, today we discussed about that uh, energy from the sea we get uh, energy um, from the sea also there are uh, three types of energy we get uh, from the sea that's uh, first one is tidal energy tidal energy and the second is wave energy and the third is ocean thermal energy ocean thermal energy okay now first we discussed about the tidal energy and then wave energy after then ocean thermal energy this is that uh, energy we get from the sea okay first we go to the uh, tidal energy what is a tidal energy how does it is uh, formed what is a tidal energy first we go to the uh, tidal energy energy possessed by rising and falling by rising and falling water tides water tides are known as tidal energy then how does it uh, tides are formed mainly how does the tides are formed that's tides formation so due to the attraction of moon attraction of moon on sea water water surface rises fall rises and falls thus the waves are formed thus the waves are formed waves are formed okay so the tides formation due to the attraction of moon and sea water water surface rises and falls so thus the waves are formed so that is uh, due to the we called as the attraction of what gravitational pull between the moon and the sea water what is that attraction of this here that is a gravitational pull we add also that uh, due to the gravitational pull okay that is attraction of moon means gravitational pull now how does it um, works the or uh, what is a high tide and what is a low tide first we discuss now here high tide so rising of water from the sea due to the gravitational pull gravitational pull of the moon called as high tide okay the rising of water from the sea due to the gravitational pull of the moon and the sea called as a high tide now what is it uh, low tide that is falling of water from the sea falling of water from the sea due to the gravitational pull of the uh, moon that is called as a low tide now generally we uh, discussed uh, how it is uh, works that is uh, 
tidal energy how does it works uh, so just I uh, show some little bit diagram after then you can easily understand that uh, a barrier is constructed near the uh, sea like this a barrier is constructed in a, a narrow tube this is one is just like a narrow tube is the, like this that the barrier is constructed in between this uh, narrow tube there is a turbine as a fitted there is a turbine is fitted like this so this um, this is a high tide if formation high tide water is formation this water is um, flow fastly so that um, it helps to uh, rotate that turbine it helps to rotate that turbine so that turbine is rotated as this uh, in this turbine a generator is fitted and that generator can rotate that um, mechanical energy into an electrical energy thus electricity can produce by the help of this um, tidal energy okay this is that uh, a barrier which is just uh, um, constructed by the help of that what bricks or stone bricks okay so as the high tide it comes then it fastly moves in the narrow pipe so in that narrow pipe there is a um, turbine is fitted here that as that uh, turbine is uh, rotate fastly that uh, electricity um, you know, can produced by the changing of mechanical energy into uh, electrical energy by the help of the generator a generator is also fitted here okay this is about that uh, how does that um, tidal energy that helps to formation of that electric electrical energy okay uh, now we go to that um, but in all places it cannot be uh, constructed okay this is the term limitations okay in few places we can build up because uh, in, uh, in all places not formation like high tides and always because and sometimes it formation high tides and it damages the uh, barrier also and then it damages the turbine also so that's why it in all places it does not constructed okay in some places it can be constructed now we go to that uh, another type of energy that is uh, wave energy that is wave energy okay there is a difference between that uh, wave energy and then tidal energy okay what how does that uh, wave energy is uh, formations due to the blowing of due to the blowing of wind due to the blowing of wind on the surface of the ocean or sea on the surface of ocean or sea very fast okay so that uh, blowing of wind mainly the uh, the tidal tidal is formation due to the uh, track um, gravitational pull between the moon and the sea but the wave is formation by blowing wind that's wave is formations always waves are formation because there is a uh, different temperatures uh, between the land and then what we we are this we know that uh, sea breeze and the land breeze due to that uh, always that uh, what waves are formation in that uh, seas from that waves also we generated that um, electricity same that uh, some like this uh, tidal energy how we formation that electric energy as the same wave that wave energy is also that waves are formation that waves are um, the barrier is constructed like this that as the waves are comes fastly it hits that uh, turbine then the turbine rotates and generated is fitted that mechanical energy and again converted into that electrical energy so that is um, 
formation of uh, uh, electrical energy helps the wave energy also okay so it is used to what is that c that's wave is used to rotate the turbine of generator and electricity is is produced okay uh, this is that help of that uh, wave energy for the formation of electricity now another point we discussed here now ocean thermal energy ocean thermal energy how it is uh, um, we get formations that uh, en uh, electrical energy from ocean thermal energy okay. that is third one ocean thermal energy ocean thermal energy means thermal means you know that already thermal means heat so from that uh, ocean uh, water become heat how does water become heat you know that in the ocean that uh, when the sunlight falls on that uh, ocean that uh, upper surface of that uh, water become hot um, warm or we call as hot or warm and uh, comparable to that deeper section deeper means just uh, um, up to the two kilometers that uh, water become warm after then the lower section the lower water become cool comparable there is a difference between temperatures between that upper surface of the water of the ocean and then uh, below that surface of that uh, uh, water of the ocean okay so that's that we called as the ocean thermal energy see what we write here the water at the surface of the sea of the sea or ocean is heated by the sun by the sun while the water in deeper section in deeper section sections is relatively cold relatively cold it means there is a difference in difference in temperature difference in temperature is exploited is exploited means there is a difference between that uh, upper surface of the ocean of water and then deeper section of that uh, water so that's temperature become exploited to obtained energy to obtained energy in ocean thermal energy conversion plant ocean thermal energy conversion plants we simply this ocean thermal energy conversion we put in a short form that's o c it's o t e o t e c okay otec that's ocean thermal energy conversion plants this is the short name of that uh, this plant okay conversion so up to that uh, up to 2 kilometer so there is a difference between um, temperature difference in temperature So that is about 20 degree Celsius. There is a difference about the 20 degree Celsius. Okay. By this, that, um, the warm sur 
सरफेस वाटर द वॉम सरफेस वाटर इज यूज टू बॉइल इज यूज टू बॉइल ए वोलोटाइल लाइक लिक्विड ए वोलोटाइल लिक्विड लाइक अमोनिया लाइक अमोनिया ओके सो दैट इज ए द वॉम सरफेस वॉटर इज यूज टू बॉइल बिकॉज ऑलरेडी इट वॉम वी नीडेड लेस एनर्जी टू बॉइल दट वोलोटाइल लिक्विड्स लाइक अमोनिया ऑल्सो ओके सो इट सडनली इट नीडेड ओनली ए लेस एनर्जी इट बॉइल फॉस्टली एंड देन स्टीम इज फॉर्मेशन ओके दट स्टीम इज फॉर्मेशन द स्टीम दस कनेक्टेड टू ए टर्बाइन दट स्टीम इज पास थ्रू दट टर्बाइन द टर्बाइन रोटेट्स एज दट यू नो दट इन द टर्बाइन जेनेटर इज कनेक्टेड दट हेल्प्स टू कन्वर्ट दट मैकेनिकल एनर्जी इन टू इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी बाई दिस ऑल्सो वी कैन गेट दट रेड्यूस दट इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी ओके ओशन थर्मल एनर्जी वी कैन ऑल्सो रेड्यूस दट इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी ओके दीज आर दट एनर्जीज वी गेट फ्रॉम द सी ओके नाउ वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट दट जियो थर्मल एनर्जी जियो थर्मल एनर्जी जियो मीन्स अर्थ थर्मल मीन्स हीट इट मीन्स इन दट ड्यू टू द जियोलॉजिकल चेंजेस in that earth geological changes the molten rocks formed in the deeper hot regions okay in the deeper or uh, hot regions um, that is um, molten rocks are from, formed the earth crust are pushed upward and trapped in a certain regions called hot spots means as the underground water is flows when that hot spots contact with that um, underground water it uh, steam is formations that is a hot springs we called as that stream is trapped in the rocks it routed through a pipe to a turbine and used to generate electricity okay this is that uh, called as a geothermal energy okay once i write now here what is a hot spots first that is uh, due to geological change changes molten rocks formed in the deeper hot regions deeper hot regions of the earth's crust earth crust are pushed upward and trapped in certain regions in certain regions called hot spots called hot spots okay so this is a hot spots okay now uh, how it is helps to that hot spot uh, some that when underground underground water from that region finds outlets finds outlets at the surface it finds that outlets at the surface so the the steam trapped in rocks is routed through a pipe through a pipe to a turbine and used to generate electricity and used to generate electricity
okay so this is that uh, geothermal energy topic it is uh, generally where this um, type of the geothermal are uh, you generally used in in that uh, new zealand countries new zealand countries and uh, in the usa also united states of america generally this type of uh, geothermal energy by the help of geothermal energy they produce uh, electricity it means hamare earth ki jo ground ke niche bahut garam hone ke karan molten rocks mein wahan par kya hota hai jaise underground water contact mein aata hai hot spots mein to water kya ho jata hai steam formation karne lag jata hai kyunki hot hone ke karan jab wo steam formation hota hai wo bahar nikalne lag jata hai steam to kahi na kahi ek outlet bana leta hai bahar aane lag jata hai steam wo steams ko pakadne ke liye trap karne ke liye hame पाइप यूज में लिया जाता है बाय द वो उस पाइप से इतना स्टीम आने लग जाता है कि टर्बाइन को रोटेट करने के लिए हेल्प करता है जैसे टर्बाइन रोटेट करेगा वैसे ही पता है हम टर्बाइन में जनरेटर कनेक्टेड करते हैं टर्बाइन मैकेनिकल एनर्जी में रहता है जो जनरेटर मैकेनिकल को इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी में कन्वर्ट करता है बाई दिस इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज फॉर्मेशन बाय द हेल्प ऑफ जियो एनर्जी सो कुछ कंट्रीज में ऐसे होता है जैसे न्यूजीलैंड एंड यू for the next class we discussed about that nuclear energy and then what is nuclear fusion what is nuclear fission and environmental consequences okay thank you